Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've done a little video like this, but I am so bothered. Yesterday I saw the Inquisitor's video, um, great video by the way, of uh, somebody from uh, JC's bar recognizing old Richard Allen's stupid ass back um, in 2017, okay? So... My point of this video is I'm pretty much, I feel like Richard Allen is one of these weird redhead fetish mofos. And, you know, you have to kind of be a redhead to understand uh, what I mean by this. Like, I have been macked on by some of the creepiest fucking weirdos that were, you know, redhead fetish type of dudes. Like, that's why I won't, if somebody only dates redheads, I will not date them. Well, Anyways, but I digress. Um, I, I, I want some of my other redheaded babes to co-sign that there is a type of dude that is this weirdo redhead fetish type of guy. Like, I know that most redheads have dealt with these types of weirdos. Well, you know, Richard, Richard Allen, he's got a couple things going for his dumb ass. He's also a pool player. And I used to be on a pool league back in the early 2000s. And I have played against many of fucking little weenie bitch Rick Allens uh, who like to throw fits when they lose. He just seems like that type of guy to me, you know, that would throw a big fit if he's losing. And, you know, like, that's the whole reason I, when I, when I played, I got so tired of the men. Cause I, I play, you can, when you do a pool league, you can, there's like mixed couple leagues. There's, you know, leagues where it's, uh, you know, men and women, and then you can do women's leagues, and then there's a men's league. Well, I stopped doing the mixed couples leagues and went straight to just doing the women's league because women don't give a shit if you beat them. They'll just come back and try to beat you next time. But there's those weenie little bitch Rick Allen types that are redhead fetish people that like to throw a little fit when they lose and be a little bitch about it. And he just seems like that type of guy to me. And I, I would not be shocked. Oh, this is so disturbing because I want to say that Anna Williams worked at that bar. She's a redhead. And we all know Abby was a redhead, you know. And as soon as I seen that girl's pretty red hair, I was like, man, you know, I, I hope that this isn't one of those situations where she, you know, has been stalked. Um by one of these weird fetish people. I told a story, I, I don't know if it's on this channel or if I was on a, a panel about some of the experiences that were just completely crazy that I had, um, you know, growing up in the South in a small town. But, you know, I tell a story about, you know, some experiences that I've had where I've been creeped out by weirdos because they were obsessed with my hair color. <laughs> you know, it, it's just crazy, but I, I want my ginger babes to check in. I want uh, stories. I want you guys to comment some of the weird redhead fetish weirdo experiences that you guys have had, because I can't be the only one, you know, and um, yeah, so that's basically the point of this video. I want my ginger bitches to check in, and um, I'm not going to be shocked if, if old Ricky Allen over there doesn't turn out to be one of these weird fetish freakos, redhead fetish freakos. Okay, that's all for today. Peace and love, y'all.